Hello everyone and welcome to system test one of my new fire alarm system I've just installed into my room slash shop. Today we're going to be doing a full system walkthrough and a full system test. So to start it off, we have our panel, which is an Edwards Fire Shield Plus, which is a five zone conventional panel along with two conventional NACs. We also have a dialer card or a DACT installed with line one connected to my PBX. This panel will dial into Protostar Alarm Monitoring, a free to use hobbyist alarm monitoring company, um, which you can learn more about in the description below. For our notification appliances, we have a Wheel Lock MT set for code three tone and mounted to a four inch back box. We also have a Wheel Lock Exceder ceiling mount strobe set for 15 candela. And for our first initiating device, we have a Bosch Pull Station model FMM-100 DATK. And for our second and third initiating devices, we have two System Sensor I3 4W B photoelectric smoke detectors. This system also features an emergency light, which is just wired into the same 120 volt source that the panel receives. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the system test by pulling the Bosch pull station. Here we go. at the pole station now. All right, and signal silence. And you can see this system does have audible silence, which I'm pretty proud of. You can see that the dialer is sending uh, and zone five is activated for the panel pull station. And right there. So now that the pull station is reset, uh, we will move on to re-alarming the system using one of the smoke detectors. So here we go. silence and then to test the other smoke detector we're going to have to do a full system reset as you can see the um, smoke detector just reset and I'll come back when the panels reset and we'll test the other smoke detector all right the panel just reset and I think for this next test we're going to test the system while in battery backup so I'm going to unplug the panel now you can see the emergency light turns on and the panel should fall into a trouble here in just a second. There it goes. AC failure, so we'll just panel silence that. So now we're running fully on battery backup and we'll test the next smoke detector. And you can hear how the tone on the uh, alarm changes because we're not in FWR anymore. All right, we'll go ahead and signal silence. Yeah, it does sound way better when it's not in FWR. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, the DC bus does change uh, a bit differently when it's on AC versus directly on uh, the DC batteries. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go into reset now. And there we go. All right. We'll reapply power to the panel. Right here. There we go. And yeah, so that concludes system test one. Uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, if you wanna see more system test videos when I expand this system, then feel free to subscribe below and I'll see you all in the next video.